the bottom, and I wanted people to realize that this is actual beef. This is raw beef, and it's in front of them. I don't really need to tell them this is chicken. It's a self-explanatory picture. Composition. I love this picture so much. This one, and I'm going to show you other ones. This is the way, um, as chefs, we show off by our plates. It's like a painting. It's like an artist. If you give an artist, if you give Picasso a, a, an empty canvas, he's going to show off. He's going to give you all his tactics. There are a lot of accounts on Instagram, chefs of Instagram, the art of plating, uh, you name it. There's a million and one uh, accounts that showcase different uh, pictures. So a lot of pictures of mine, they were hosted there. So, and for me, it's, it's super. And it's... Hello? Natural. This is all natural. I, I, so far, I did not show you any studio one. None. This is, by the way, this is only me and my camera and the light and the natural light. None of them are, only the ones that I showed you with these ones. Still. So this one is, is natural light. Is it? Because I have a, a lovely white plate. The white plate gives a whole reflection of the sun. It's super bright. It's super light. Composition. What do I mean by composition? Composition is basically how the image is built up. Usually, in, in when it comes to restaurants, or when it comes to chefs, um, this is a plate, okay? Usually, as you see in a plate, usually it has a round in the middle, and any regular standard plate. The round part is called the rim. The rim acts as a boundary, acts as a border for the food. So here, I built my own boundary. In this image, I built my own boundary, which is square. Does anybody know what this is, actually? Let me start off. Does anybody know what this dish is? It's a classical dish. None of you are going to guess. Mahad fikum. This is Caesar salad. Caesar salad that's done in a super, 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 super upscale way, gourmet way, you name it. The bottom part, the square part, is chicken. I, I uh, made chicken mousse. I put it in a sheet. I boiled it, took it out, looked like sliced cheese. I cut it up, put it on a plate, and you see all different techniques over here. I glazed turnips. Um, I added a bit of uh, aioli, which acts as a sauce. F uh, this is composition. This is the way you have to think that you can actually build your own boundaries. Another one is here. Same dish, but different plating style. You see more space to eyes to explore. Build your own guidelines. Be uh, the becomes a canvas with art. Build your own guidelines. When I talk about guidelines, it means this. I built my own rim. Instead of the rim being circle, I built my long rim. And I plated the food on that. I'm not breaking boundaries. It's still right. Okay, and uh, more space for the eye because the plate is so big. You know when you go to upscale restaurants and you always complain, oh, the plate is too big, the food is too small. It's, 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 it doesn't really make sense, but it does make sense because chefs take six months to come up with a dish like that. It takes a lot of time for them to consider. There is special thought when it comes to a plate. There is a reason why they have elements like that. So they have a big plate and they want to showcase. They want to showcase the food on the plate. They want to tell you, guys, I can cook. This is my food. You want to criticize me? Come. This is my food. Look at it. Okay? So I'm going to get into a bit of very slight detail. Uh, plate guidelines. So again, regularly this is a plate, and these are the guidelines to a plate. Rule of thirds. Does anybody know what the rule of thirds is? Rule of thirds. Rule of thirds. Rule of thirds acts as, يعني, let's say, any human being is always, always applies rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is basically number three. It means um, A, B, C, that's three. Uh, when you add elements to a dish, it's always three. If you add four, the dish, the, the items might be too big. If you add two, the items might be too small for the dish. So three always acts as the standard number to anything. So this is called rule of thirds. And rule of thirds here, it means that the items on a plate will balance the plate. If I have a plate this big and I add three items to it, it will look right. If I add four items to it, the plate will look wrong because it's too small, it's too condensed. If I added a big plate and I added like four items, it still looks wrong, you know? So three is always the perfect number when it comes to food, when it comes to anything. So placement should always be equal to plate size. So that's the same thing. It's always symmetrical in, in three, okay? Some guidelines tend to be broken, yet follow the same rules of proportion. Proportion is the number one thing. Proportion, you have to understand proportion when it comes to plating. Because the plate for you, you have to understand the size of the plate. You have to know that this is the plate. Okay, I cannot break the boundary and add something bigger than the plate. So some guidelines tend to be broken. Same way here. So, so the one I did for the salad, 
I still applied the same guidelines. If you see the salad on the plate, still makes sense. Still looks proportional. But I broke the rule. I added it in a different way. But I'm still, stay, I'm still standing to my, my original way of thinking. This was one of the dishes actually that was posted on the Instagram accounts. Uh, people said this looks like somebody that was uh, just sneezing on a plate. Uh, <laughs> sounds wrong, but uh, uh, this is actually a lemon tart. It's my recreation of a lemon tart. Again, the placement of the dishes is done in a certain way so that people can build up flavor. They start off from the bottom and they end up to the top. The middle part is the climax. That's why there is, you know, crumbs in the middle. We call it sand in uh, cooking language. Uh, it just sounds interesting. Uh, so the middle part is the climax. So that's why you want to showcase to people. And you see, everything is, you know, the, follow certain symmetry and shapes. Because the plate is circle, it just makes sense that all the items are circle. You know, they follow the perfect symmetry to a plate. And the proportion on of the item on the plate is very equal. It doesn't, it's not too much and it's not too little. Okay, Still proportional to plate size. This is a cauliflower salad that I did. Um, again, I understand that the people will eat in a certain way. They will start from the bottom, so that's why the certain buildup is done in a certain way. So they start from the bottom, they eat their way to the top. And that's, that's when it comes to chefs, you build up flavor. You want to add flavor along the way. Same thing here. You see the plate size. And you see the item. This is another thing. This is foie gras. Foie gras is duck liver. It's very intense. The flavor is super strong. So that's why we add a bit of it. That's why when you go to restaurants, you complain. No, nah, Habibi, don't complain. Because this is their study. This is what they want to showcase to you. Rule of thirds. You see the garnishes. One, two, three. This, is, this applies to rule of thirds again. This one is another way also of another salad. Another one. Rule of thirds. One, two, three. So these items all relate to proportion of them on a plate. Okay. This is the last part. This is action part. Action shots. Action shots. Action shots. This is the reason why I'm standing here today. This is the reason why a lot of people, I knew actually how to showcase food to people. I knew how I can get into people's hearts by this action shot. Action shot is basically seeing things in front of you. Yani the way the donut is glazed, the way the egg is popped, the way the caramel is dripping off. This, I, I know Kuwaitis. Kuwaitis on Instagram, I know them. Show them caramel, they will cry. Show them eggs, they will die. So things like that, I understand. It comes with time because that's what they love. They love juice, they love gossip, they love things like that. They love action. We love that. I knew how to, to, show it, show, to show it to people. So action shot. This is again in my restaurant in the donuts we make in-house. Okay. Uh, pancakes. Look at the lighting. Okay, look at the maple syrup dripping off. Yeah, and you just want to get in there and just lick the maple syrup off. Trust me. I've, I got, I've got a lot of people that said that before. Zain, coffee. This is avocado. This is in the restaurant. Yeah, and it's coffee, ice cream, and then you have dripping coffee. People imagine this in front of them. They can imagine it. They're holding their phones. They're licking their phones. Yeah, and that's what they want to see. That's what they, they want to get their hands inside and touch the coffee. Caramel. Oh, my God. Caramel. Caramel. Who doesn't love caramel? This is a donut with ice cream and caramel on top. Yeah, and look at the lighting. Again, this is done inside the restaurant. There are no lights, nothing. I just had the regular service lights that I have. Oh my God, this is coffee again. Look at the, this is different. This is the same one, but it's thinner. You see, the coffee just dripped, started dripping out. But this is juice. You, they want to see that. Okay, again, action shots. They want to see things like that. As I see, as I told you guys, this is the way I take photographs. I love taking photos of the actual moment. I don't like staging them. They will look fake. That's why I will take photos the way how naturally they are. Oh my God, this is donuts. This is donuts and glaze is falling off. Look at the plate. It's perfect plate. It's black. It showcases the white glaze on top. Okay. Again, action shot of the donuts. Uh, they're getting uh, powdered on top. Things like action shots like, like ribs. It's like I just cooked the ribs and I just tore it in front of you. Here you go. This is my ribs, buddy. Okay. Again, this is Gamer and uh, Gamer Asal ice cream. I played around with the ice cream. So you see the caramel dripping off. It's coffee caramel and cornflakes. Okay. Again, hot chocolate. This is uh, salted peanut butter hot chocolate. Same. I, had, I found a newspaper. This newspaper was, I found it in the, in the office and I just like put this coffee on top of it. They, they want to see things dripping off. They want to, people love messy stuff. 
I have this in my restaurant. This is actually a bao ice cream. This is a steamed bun. It's deep fried with ice cream, salted caramel, uh, caramelized pecans, and a fried donut. It's just super. So they want to see the melted ice cream. They want to see that. Nobody likes seeing fresh ice cream. They want to see something melted. They love juice. They want to see all of that. Caramel, again. They just want to see all of that. Okay. Pancakes, chocolate. Just show them what they want to see. This, after this part, I knew that I loved eggs. Yani with all the years that I, take, I took photos, I started to realize that I loved eggs, how much I loved eggs. Eggs was, I knew how to show people. Yani the best thing about the egg is that you can pop it, the juice will fall off right at the right moment, right second, you know how to shoot it. People love eggs, they love juice, they want to see that. It's super, it's super, it's amazing. You'll see the pictures. Zain. This was in London again. It's like somebody crying, you know, there's somebody just popped it off and it's just teasing them. They love teasing. You know, people love that. They want to see all of that. Some people don't really love eggs. People hate eggs. Best. When it comes to photographs, they want to see all of that. Yeah, and what's the purpose of having an egg if you're going to cook it well done? Doesn't make sense. You're going to cut the, uh, the egg, the, the egg, the yolk is going to look dry. It's going to look disgusting. So why not shoot it in the right way? Right cooking temperature. Again, morning shot. These are all like breakfast shots. They want to see that. They want to wake up in the morning and eat eggs. Uh, my mom killed me after this. She, like literally, she, she slapped me. Because this is, this, is, this is melted cheese. Is it? And this is an egg souffle. And the cheese was on this uh, napkin. And the, the nap napkin smelt really bad. Really, really, really bad. Because it's like basically four cheese. And uh, I didn't wash it for like two days. But it really stunk. So, but I love this picture. The, the lighting on it is superb. Everything like that. Another one. This is in London. It's actually, it's, it's a pasta. I cooked pasta with a poached egg on top. Is it with cream and truffle and mushrooms? This one is my take of a McDonald's, what do you call it, egg muffin sandwich or whatever it is. It's, it's done in a proper way with, with truffle aioli, with pastrami, with three different eggs. Look at the, look at the egg crying over here. Oh my God, this is, this is superb. This is superb. Yeah, and this is the reason why I love eggs. The Anna, it gives you the certain perfection of York dripping. It's like chocolate, but it's not chocolate, it's something even better. It gives you that perfect vibrancy. It's yellow, but it's sometimes it's orange. It's super vibrant. Wow. Same one. Look at the York just dripping off. So it's just things to consider when it comes to photography. Just think about what you want to show, how you want to see your dish. If you got it on a table, okay, shoot it the same way. Or just if it's eggs, show them eggs. If it's meat, show them proper redness of meat. If it's a burger, show them juice. So that's what people want to see. Another one here. So yolks, they're just superb. Okay. This is the last, last part. Sorry, I said this like twice, but I kept forget, for, forgetting. Vibrancy, color, and editing. Vibrancy. Everybody knows what vibrancy is. It just shows you uh, how fresh an item is. Um, the green to identify it's fresh, red to identify it's fresh, things like that. Show off your product. Again, as I said from the beginning, show off if you have a good product, show it off to people. Don't really hide it behind sauce. Don't really hide it behind items that will cover it. So as you see, tomatoes, my tomatoes are fresh. So that's why I want to show people. Again, superb, super fresh. Here, same way, vibrancy, a blue tint. This doesn't really have a lot of color, but I added the tint to it to, add, to act in a certain way. I wanted to show people how serious this is. It's a lot of shadows, but it has a proper tint to it. So that's why it kind of speaks to you as an image. It, 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 it relates itself to a lot of things. Vibrancy. Superb, very fresh. You have vibrant items. It will showcase that you have a vibrant uh, uh, product. Here again, saffron cream brulee. Again, same thing. Superb cake, I use the same colors that match it. Here, the raspberries, they're red, they're super red, so I showcase them as raspberries. I don't want to hide them off. That's why everything else is white. So it's just a matter of, okay, editing on Photoshop. Again, as I saw, I said about eggs, this was one of the best examples. Look at the slanted bun. Look at, the, they're the same thing, exactly the same thing, but they're shot in a different way. Look at the slanted bun, okay? I had a mistake. As I told you, I, I take shots naturally. I don't really like staging stuff. So I had a bit of a mistake. I shot this, this picture, and then I moved and I shot this picture. But I love this picture, 
and I love this part. What should I do? I don't really use Photoshop. I hate Photoshop. Okay? But I chose these two, and I love this one, but I love the eggs dripping off. So that's when I stepped into Photoshop. That's when I started. I know a bit of basics about photo, uh, Photoshop. Okay? So that's when uh, this is the item that I love, and this is the picture that I love. I added the yolk to the image. It just seems right. It's a bit of, يعني, uh, it doesn't show that this image, this uh, screen isn't really clear. But if you look really, 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 really deeply, you might catch it. But things like that. I mean, editing, sometimes you add yolk, sometimes you add sauce, sometimes you want to add stuff to make this image more appealing. Okay? Editing application. Does anybody know what this application is on the laptop? It's not Photoshop. Anybody know? This is, I use this program to, uh, to edit my photos. This is Aperture. Aperture. Aperture is something very simple, very, very simple. You find it uh, on uh, uh, iTunes or whatever it is. Just download it. It's amazing. This is the one I usually take for photos. This is the one I use for editing. Okay? The camera I, uh, I have actually is Nikon D700. I love this camera because it's really cool. I tried it out. It's a really nice camera. Um, uh, again, I'm not going to get into the details. Then uh, we're going to talk about auto. Yani you're going to shoot photo or photos by auto. But um, Nikon D700, the lens, is, uh, the, lens is, is the macro lens. It's super uh, suitable for close-ups. When I take the shot, the nice thing about this camera, the shutter speed, when I take the, uh, the shot of the photo, <laughs> when I take the shot of the photo, uh, the nice thing about it is that the shutter speed isn't too loud. Yani sometimes when I get close into an item, sometimes the shutter speed really affects the, the image vibration. So the nice thing about it is that it's super smooth. It's super, 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 